Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? How are you guys feeling? Oh, my God. I don't know if y'all seen, if y'all had a chance, child, to look at to look at that goddamn I I can't even speak right because that's how crazy this situation is okay did y'all look at the um, Erica Dixon interview with Scrappy child if that wasn't a mess if I've ever seen a mess that is a mess that's a hot ass mess child I don't know you know I love me some Erica Dixon child I really do but I don't know what possessed her to sit up there with that man while he was drunk child (laughs) this man was so drunk I was over here looking like, man, this man is drunk. He can't even get his thoughts across. That man was drunk, okay? But, child, let's get into what they was talking about. Now, Erica, you ain't win no prizes. I love Erica, but, child, you did not win no prize. This man, like, you could just, I don't know, child, I don't know. And most of the time, I'm all here for Erica Dixon and everything. I just was not here for both of them in this interview. I'm like, girl, why is this man sitting up here? You trying to make sense of what he's not making sense of? And, child, it was just a mess. It was <laughs> it was a mess. They was up here just clowning, okay? First and foremost, Erica came into which I knew she would have. Because when I seen that Diamond interview, I'm like, I know Erica going to be back. I thought she was just going to come back by herself. But God damn it, she brought the, the person who started all the bullshit. <laughs> she brought Scrappy with her. Child, she was over here trying to make it make sense. Trying to throw, you know, she said I had no motion. She said I had no motion. Well, a, um, a person that don't have no motion is, and then my name is all down your throat. So that's motion enough. Like, girl, she was over here like, listen, I'm going to tell y'all the motion I got going on. And also promote my damn business child y'all gonna go up for classic <laughs> she was letting y'all know that y'all need to get get y'all some classic but she was taking shots at diamond child she was letting diamond have it and i'm over here like girl diamond is whole engaged now child whole engaged now baby girl at this point i would ignore diamond i'm sorry uh-uh diamond couldn't couldn't get couldn't hear couldn't sh- nothing out of me i'm gonna show y'all the clips down below but diamond couldn't get like nothing i, I when i say down below i mean like in in little segments y'all, y'all gonna see the clips you know what i'm saying i only have a little bit of clips up in here you know i try to tweak it as best i can and hopefully y'all get it and y'all understand but i'm like girl why 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 because diamond and found the love of her life okay diamond is somewhere happy and girl I, the way i see it okay And I ain't never looked at Erica Dixon like this, right? But I'm starting to look at her like this. She's giving me Snoop Dogg's wife vibe. I believe her name is Shantae. And she's giving me Tiny vibe. You know, T.I.'s wife. Tiny. Like, for real, Lil Miss, I'ma stick beside him. Girl, first of all, this man has done everybody wrong, okay? Shay wrong. Hell, he damn near, like, every diamond wrong. A Bambi wrong Erica now you like he's been doing not even you was the first person he did wrong I don't see how she could sit up there with that man he been playing in her face yep I said it Scrappy talking about some her fans don't like me they they got all this yep I, I'm one of the fans okay we don't like you <laughs> don't like you at all Scrappy because we know you the, you're the main problem of all the bullish okay all the bullish you got my good girl sitting up here looking like a goddamn bird okay because i would not be standing beside that man i don't i would not because he's the problem she had all this smoke for bambi and child i don't like bambi either child you know what i'm saying i I love bambi but i don't like bambi if it makes sense because bambi like you ever seen that um, peter guns and amina butterfly and everything how um t uh tyra would be doing the same thing amina did but she just sophisticated and she you know got a little bit of education on ass so she want to act like her shit don't stink. that's what bambi gives me like i would love bambi more if she just was like yeah this you know what i'm saying it's a fucked up situation child it's just, it is what it is but she'd be acting like i don't have time i'm just i'm out here living my life i don't i don't have time these people are beneath me she's very much so giving that when you pick this man and you was you know what i'm saying doing all of it. y'all was playing ping pong with this man going back and forth with this man all of y'all all of you's women was out here playing you know tag you're it tag you're it with this man so i don't like how she be trying to act like oh well, no it's just them i'm different i'm not like that is these bitches she gives that and that's what i don't like about bambi and erica erica wants to give excuses you know 
artist that's my baby father you know I, I've, I've been dealing with scrappy for a long time well we had a conversation we spoke and you know we we, we was honest with everything and we we decided to forgive each other girl no hell no okay forgiving is one thing but to put yourself back smack dead in the same situation that's just stupidity and girl want to talk about something we not we not sleeping together we we not sleeping girl you said that before before to bambi that y'all wasn't sleeping together and then it turned out that man was giving you head child i don't believe her talking about something we wasn't sleeping together and they energy they energy gives that we were sleeping together you know and you know my thing is i, I don't know if y'all caught it but erica dixon give me that you remember that one clip like i can't talk to you no more because you effing up my family remember that it was a tiktok clip i can't f with you no more because you you messing up my family that's what it's given because like when she was talking about shay johnson going into the things how she thought like back then thought of shay as a hoe and shay is this and shay is that you know scrappy wasn't here for it scrappy was like um that was my friend and she was giving him the look like play with me again nigga play, play with me again nigga you know what i'm saying she was like stopping scrappy dead in his tracks like no 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 boo all them bitches was hoes i mean they may not be hoes no more we probably made peace but majority of them bitches they hoes bitch and you better say what i want you to say or we up out of here she kept on giving him the eye like he he was almost looking like a damn kid he was looking like a little child that was in time out your mama told you you can't say this and you can't say that okay it was very much so given stripped it that we talked about what we was gonna say up on here so scrappy you better you know stay, stay, keep up okay because you're not gonna defer from what we talked about that we was gonna talk about up on here up in here up in here you better say what i want you to say she had like that man wrapped around her little fingers making him say whatever she wanted him to say and child i don't know if he agreed with everything i know for sure he wasn't here for the shay johnson thing and a part of me feel like the only reason he got all this energy is because diamond just got engaged but i know that this was shot like a while ago but i wanted to know like i wonder if he knew that you know diamond was gonna get engaged and everything you know smack got a husband on that ass he probably thought that I'm eating a cooch and ain't nothing going on. Diamond probably was creeping with this man for a minute because Scrappy and her really just cut ties most recently. And that interview ain't far away. But Diamond like, listen, I'm over here. I'm going to be mad at you for being a hoe. And, you know, con what she say, contaminating? I'm going to be mad at you, but you, I'm, I'm doing my own little contamination that don't nobody know about. I believe it with my heart that Scrappy was taken aback by Diamond getting div um, divorced. Hell, he and... <laughs> he and um, he and Bambi got a divorce, but Diamond getting engaged. I feel like he was taken aback. So he up here with Erica Dixon, like, and she up in here like she like won a prize. When, when quiet is is kept, I feel like sister girl, that man is using you. <laughs> he's using you <laughs> for real though. He's using you for an image, okay? To not look like the pitiful bum after Diamond and got a whole husband, and now he dragged you right along, Erica dragged you right along with his stupidity now he looks stupid you look stupid y'all look stupid some stupid mother effers that's what it looked like okay and girl you have to understand that he is a person and she's mad at like she's mad at bambi and i get that because bambi was wrong as hell for the whole thing with the kid and everything but i would have been more mad at scrappy because can't this girl this girl can't do nothing about my kid without this man because this is not her kid he should have like grabbed his balls and step the f up and say no 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 not on my watch like i know erica's a whole bunch of things but don't don't step into this mess i got going on with my baby mama that's between me and my baby mama but no he was cool with it he was down for it he was okay everything okay he and he hell quiet as is kept he was the main one but she got all the smoke towards bambi and she could say what she wants she she'll be playing by bambi like oh the, your other baby mama your other baby mama i don't like bambi as much as the next person I don't like, you know, I told you what I don't like about it. But Bambi was a wife, okay? She wasn't no baby mama baby. She was a wife. He gave her that ring. You might not like it, and everybody else may not like it, but she was a wife. So that's not his um second baby mama. That's his ex-wife to whom he had children with. You know what I'm saying? She had her kids in, in marriage, baby girl. Okay, Erica, I, I think that it's very petty of you to take this route. Because at this point, you got him. You know what I'm saying? You got him. Hell, none of the other girls was able to last. You have been lasting. Y'all kids is 18 and you still lasting. You know what I'm saying? Still dealing with him. Still talking to him. Still, Y'all still having conversations. 
and and build the memories okay so you have won if there was a prize i don't think you want a prize because he ain't no prize but child you have won you don't even need to address these other females you call them peasants these peasants you don't, you don't need to address them the fact that she keeps a, now i expected a diamond I'm, I'm not gonna hold you diamond i get it okay because diamond had no reason to speak on that girl's baby daddy now i, I was like why he get in it that's how i, I was like mm had to you know clutch my invisible pearls like how he getting it but yeah i understand her doing that and getting miss girls together because you're not finna mention my other baby daddy who, who ain't got nothing to do with this mess and all that i get, get that but everything else you know i just feel like you don't need to explain yourself you already did your individual interview we got your perspective scrappy did his individual interview we got his perspective now diamond's doing her individual interview we getting her perspective and they feel like diamond should not have a perspective if diamond don't feel like she was a side that's how she fit. she's entitled to her feelings okay it don't matter what you feel if if it's reality that's what matters is it reality baby if it's not reality then what are we talking about because if it's reality then yeah but if it's not reality then mm, pay it dust okay because everybody has perception everybody got their truth now nah. You know what I'm saying? Your truth may not be somebody else's truth, none of that. But everybody got their truth now. So y'all yeah, can't be sitting up sitting up here, you know, getting in y'all little feelings, want to do a whole collective interview because Bambi gave her perspective. Her perspective. Don't make it a reality. It's her perspective. And she's entitled to her perspective. I don't know. They want to be the only ones talking, the only one in the room, you know, with the tea and, you know, giving the business. But, you know, the diamonds reality is different it's, it's very very much so different i know you you may not like that erica dixon but she got her own perspective child you know one thing about erica she gonna tell you about her business child i got a business i own classics i just i'm not checking for them they're checking for me y'all gotta watch that interview i'm telling y'all erica dixon was definitely giving side eye shade bitch what what you say uh, this is a, okay oh okay yeah because this right here and she was very much so giving this this my nigga right i don't care what he's talking about it's mine it's mine it was given that even if she didn't think that and he over here i love erica erica you know i love i love i love we know you love erica you ain't gotta say too much baby we we know we know you love erica and he's always let it be known that he got the, this feeling but i feel like you use erica in this instance because dime got got engaged so you feel in some type of way she's supposed to help you save face and you up in here like saying what you saying and all of this extra stuff no diamond probably blocked your ass after she posted them leaks the little text messages and and you and the, i don't know it was i believe it was his back that was the picture whatever it, it wasn't enough of a nude to be a nude but she she definitely gave us a little taster a little tease of what he had going on and i, I think that you know erica dixon felt some type of way erica dixon be acting like she just so unbothered her and baby i can't with them so unbothered like um i, I have businesses i'm so busy i don't i I don't have time I, I don't i don't i don't girl you know you seen it that's why you and him up here did a whole interview doing a whole interview because you seen it and you like this bitch better not play with me she better not play with me like my name ain't motherfucking erica erica you know what i'm saying i'm up here and it was definitely so given that i just don't think that scrappy is worth fighting over uh-uh he I, I believe with my soul everything in my being that he gonna find you another girl to compete with he like everybody jay johnson had moved on diamond now to move on you know what i'm saying bambi is moving on you gonna be stuck with this man and he gonna find you a new itch, itch to, to go against because for whatever reason he got to deal with some childhood trauma or whatever it is but he can't stay loyal or faithful to one person and he getting older he getting up in age y'all got an 18 year old daughter he's not settling down for whatever reason he got to get his stuff together deal with his childhood trauma because i watched his interview he got a lot going on you know what i'm saying things that he didn't seen that he's not over you know especially when he was raised up in a whorehouse you know that that you know provokes or promotes some sort of you know sexuality issues you know I, i'm not saying like i'm saying that as far as him like being monogamous or you know faithful to one woman i think that a lot of things that he's seen growing up with his mama the whorehouse and you know women and how they treat like a lot of things he's seen that he's not okay with and he like doesn't know how to shake he has to get some therapy for that or else he's not gonna be able to move on with anybody i think that this hypersexualism that he has going on if that's even a thing but he's extra like hypersexual doing all like I, I feel like he has a high sex drive and all of these things and he has to deal with these things okay i'm not no professor so I, i'm not probably getting these terms right child y'all forgive me but he he definitely need to go see somebody about that because he's not gonna be able to be faithful to to no woman 
stay loyal to no woman until he get this stuff under control, child, because it's a lot, but he has to get it under control. He has to admit that he has a problem. He got to admit that this is hard for him. He got to admit that he needs some assistance. But yeah, it was a lot going on, a whole lot going on. And I, I think that, you know, Bambi didn't deserve this. She, but like, not like the way y'all, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Did not deserve. We like we was so taken aback. Bambi didn't deserve a whole response. Hell, they responded to everybody. Okay, Shay Johnson not so much. They was cute with Shay Johnson, but Bambi did not deserve. You know us getting this re breakdown because I watched like the Scrappy interview, the Erica Dixon interview. Now y'all going back on Bambi like oh child, and then er uh, like Diamond definitely deserves it. I'm gonna give you that. Erica Diamond deserved that because you know you had to let her know. Don't talk about my baby father, but she didn't deserve everything else. She was really taking jabs at Diamond, letting her know what's up. I was thoroughly entertained. Y'all gotta watch it. It is entertaining, and I think I love seeing them together because it lets you know Scrappy and Erica's dynamics and everything. And you know something else. That I would like to see that I have not been privy to eight like able to, I want to see Erica Dixon tell more stories. She gotta get on, I don't know, she got a YouTube channel, or whatever. She gotta do a story time. And because I love the way she tells stories. Like she it seems like she's just very like, you know, the theatrical. The theatrical. I'm sorry if I'm saying the word wrong, but y'all get what I'm saying. She's theatrical. She's very entertaining with stories, you know. So she needs to tell a story. I'm ready to watch. Cause when she was telling that story about Erica, uh, about her, child, I'm saying Erica, about her and Diamond and uh, scrappy and her busting the door like i was very entertained with her storytelling of you know capabilities so i feel like she needs to definitely you know do a couple of story times because i'm here for her to tell a story child but i don't know i just don't think scrappy was worth all of this like he's just not worth all of this to me but you know scrappy ain't my man so hey maybe she, he's worth all of this to her child who knows but yeah i put together these clips to show you you know what i'm saying different things and whatever oh and something else i want to talk about because i'm gonna show that in a clip at the end of the video i want to talk about how remember when um um bambi basically told erica dixon like yeah like we said we wasn't gonna film with her because we didn't want to embarrass imani and right after that you know she had went and um like she had a gotten a restraining order against scrappy got the restraining order removed when you know like after the whole situation so like i i wanted to like talk about that because i felt like that that was crazy because she always wanted scrappy the signs was there like when he was with bambi and they had a little situation or whatever you know you got a restraining order or whatever and then when bambi and him broke up or they seem like seemingly had issues you took the restraining order off and you and him was kicking it and everything so like girl you always wanted this man and this your man girl get your man girl get your man girl even though he's not no prize <laughs> he really isn't and i i want better for you out girl i really do i want better for erica dixon because this ain't it like at all not him sis this ain't it and yep i guess people do have to make up their mind but no I, I don't i want her i want better for her I don't want her with him, in my opinion. But y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm going to play these clips of the interview and, you know, different things. And y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. And I love y'all so much. And bye. The other half be like, I don't even know why she fucking with him, man. He played in her face and all this shit, man. I'm, I'm like, hey, man, shut the fuck up. Like, like, <laughs> he had to send him home several nights. And I was like, okay, cool. But you, she kept, like, pushing the envelope, reiterating. I'm like, okay, well, this is some new news to me. Are y'all fucking? Because I just want to make sure we're not cross-contaminating. Continue to be slutted out and hung out with Scrappy. Like, why you mad at me? We just, you know, kicking it. We ain't going steady. We're dating. We have great times together. But I ain't trying to marry this Me and Scrappy have not had any type of dealings since 2012, 13, um, whatever. So, Scrappy and Erica know what they'll do when they get caught up in their little shit. So they just want to keep it, you know what I'm saying? We won't be happy. I haven't slept with Scrappy in over a year. Mm -hmm. So this is something that just happened in the midst of us drinking, being there, but you don't recall coming to my house, us outside playing Uno, drinking that. to what, two, three in the morning. We had a conversation, went back in the house, watched movies on the sofa. I dozed off, you woke me up, you pulled my pants down, and you proceeded to what? You really gonna lie? Well, so we hooked up two weeks before that, and then we was at the hotel. Scrappy ate your cootie cat and your booty hole. I was drunk. Well, it was a time to where we were just like kind of having fun. Coloring is what I call it. Out and inside the lines. I'm single, he's single. I don't report to anybody. You need some camera time. We know you have no motion. But for somebody that don't have no motion, I own my business, I own classics. I own my house too. Didn't have to move out to North Georgia to afford rent. So yeah, um, and I own a condo that I left to my daughter. Imani, I don't have motion, but yet my name is in your mouth. Mm. That's all the motion I need. Every bro. interview. 
It's all down her throat. That's motion, I tell you. Your store's been under renovation for how long? The only reason she knew my store was in renovations is because she asked to come to my store to support. She's probably talking about the first encounter when um, back in the day she had got a spare key made to Scrap's house. And my best friend, which wifey baby can attest to this, she was in there, um, his homeboy was in there, I was in there, we were just chilling in his room, just chilling. And she came into the room and went to swing on him. I ain't running from nobody. So I bust the doors open. There's Scrappy. Lo and behold, say it. You want to see And there's Lil Dirty Diamond. Doing what? Um, I she, was on the computer. So he's sitting at the desk and he on the phone. He turned around, he like, oh! <laughs> and she on the phone, she look up, she like, oh! And I was like, so this what we doing? You know, no, I was on go. You know, I was on go. Oh, I know you, Erica. So as I'm talking, ju as I'm talking junk to she him, I'm moving towards her. But I'm talking forward. to him. He to, peeked it. I had to do the Roman Reigns. So he, <laughs> he tackled me. He tackled me. And she hops off the bed, dirty diamond, and she runs in the bathroom. Now, little do I know, she got her girls with her. She got her whole little gang gang. They all in the bathroom with her. They locked the door. I'm trying to tell the door. All oh, these girls locked the door on you? They in the bathroom. You've always been number two. You was never the main chick. You was always number two. I got the ring first. There's no way in the fuck, you feel what I'm saying, that this lady came second. We have an 18-year-old. She finna be 19. And then when Crime Mob came out, weren't they like 14 and 15? So if you was first, just make it make sense. The math ain't math. So while you were dating Erica, you were cheating on Erica with Diamond. I hate to use the word cheating for better words, but yes. He was exploring. <laughs> he was coloring with all shades. And even with your new situation, why are you so invested in your first baby daddy? You should be trying to figure out what's going on with your second baby daddy. Or why you had these kids knowing that he was in a relationship with a whole other woman. And they still ain't found his wife. Me and this guy was in a whole relationship, okay? So maybe one of Dirty Diamond's friends was the side chick? But I've never been a side chick, homewrecker, the twins dad is not married, doesn't have a girlfriend, will never get married, okay? Um, next time Why anybody brings him up, him? ask them to tell you his real name. Because if you notice, they couldn't, you notice she stuttered when you was like, who? They don't even know his name. You have his second baby mama started that rumor. Mm -hmm. But you notice she hasn't said anything else, right? Served. You gonna speak on me? You gonna pay? I need that my address too. I literally came onto the show to defend myself because it was portrayed like I was a homewrecker through his marriage, which I was not. Apparently the marriage was already broken, A. B, I realized years ago me not speaking up for myself hurt me more than me just going live a couple months ago. If you come in on Love & Hip Hop to defend yourself, you know, with this situation, so be it. But don't the, speak on ours because we know crazy, what really happened crazy, between us. You was a home wrecker. I feel like definitely um, Scrappy was my first love, my first true love. I don't think I met the love of my life yet, though. Was Shay also a side chick to this relationship? Definitely. I mean, you know me, hoes. Another hoe, line them up, pick a number. Um, no, no, that's just, good. I mean, we are cool. I don't have anything, you know, me and Shay, we've, we've talked, you know what I'm saying, we've said our piece. Wow. Um, but at the end of the day, like, that's that's what it was, you know, at the time. I, I already said that. Man, me and Shay didn't already talk. Like, we, we good. Um, oh, she's just saying what she, what, at the at time. That he, time. Just, he, he said at the time, like, what was, you know, what was I yeah. thinking? But he was, you know, Scrappy was definitely misleading. And then she a Libra, like us, you know. So when we had that conversation, I'm like, oh. Little dookie booty, don't even get in the camera. Yeah, bitch, this is for Keisha, because you clearly ain't let your listen the first time. Tell him what the fuck I'm doing. Louder. I can't fuck with you no more. Cause what? Now. She was a friend. Like, I'm just saying, she was a friend. I ain't really, it wasn't, it, I mean. I just gave you. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> you too. I, I'm just saying, I'm. Uh, I know you owning it and I appreciate it. I know okay. I appreciate it. I'm proud of you. Perfect person. That's what my, eh. Okay, I'm So once I get up close up on it and I... Uh oh. My mama did. Okay. Erica is... Oh, go ahead. Not, not you have no eyebrows. I brow. 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 Erica, you, you, you can blue on the set. You have to touch it. What's Baby mama can this side chicks too. What? I met Scrappy out of high school, yeah, and no, this is, uh, we were friends before, if, like, he was just... we're gonna classify this a he was, man, jump, he was just jumping off the porch. What, you know, I was at free shows. I was selling CDs out my trunk. Everything. Giving him his money. All that. Yeah. Like, he already know how I get down no, with no, money. No, for real. I'm dead serious. I'm talking about jumping in the crowd. When I jump in the crowd to fight, motherfucker, I'm like, why are you coming with me? I, I jump too. <laughs> like, what's going on? Right? Scrappy's always been handsome. You know what I'm saying? Erica is... 
Go on, dance. I was trying to look like, oh, you look good. I'm like, no, no, listen. You look good. You look nice. Who uh, just went? And I said, oh. I had to say, oh, yeah, you look fly. Let me, house, let me switch my switch. Legs, switch yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, here, go see Brian. You dig? Yeah, we had a good time. Ice tray. You dig? That's what we did. You dig? I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. You around in the beginning. Yes. And I feel like Scrappy and I, it's like we kind of grew up together, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, we've been through so much, you know, together. And I know so many people be like, oh, you know, he did this or he did that. Granted, yeah, he did. But we've had those difficult conversations. We've moved past it and we are here. And, hey, we don't know what the future holds, you know? Yeah. People, they don't understand. They don't understand us. They want to understand us, but they don't understand us. They're like, so why y'all going out of town together and shit, man? Like, why y'all hanging out? Why y'all being like, but y'all look like y'all like together. I'm like, we always been like this. Women look at you and they're really influenced. And instead of saying I look up to you and I'm influenced by you, it's hatred and envy towards you. Oh, oh you remember that time you first brought um, your second baby mama around? And <laughs> I did walk up to you. I was like, what's up, Scrap? You not speaking? And he was like, hm, he was just giggling. I said, I ain't sleep with you last night. And she was like, what? Are you two dating anybody? I'm not. I'm not. He may be. I, I, I'm trying to date You her. never know with him. I'm trying to date. There's no relationship with Bambi. There never will be. Don't like nobody you love because you showed up to the mediation with him. You went in the room with him. You had everything to say about the child support. Even being smart. Oh, I'll make sure that stops. Like, pipe down. Pick a side and stay there. I mean, you. some people mad if we beefing. Some people mad if we cool. Scrappy has faults. He's not perfect. He's done a lot of stuff. I have faults. I'm not perfect. I've done a lot of stuff. But me and Scrappy have had countless repetitive hard conversations of just about the past stuff that we have both you know done to each other and just having those conversations and telling that person how you made me feel in that moment and I don't ever you know what I'm saying want to feel like that again and that, that's both of us and how can we move forward from that like showing like I'm going to show you like I, I'm not that person I've, I've grown from that and being honest and saying me treating you or saying what I said came from a, a place of you know hurt Instead of, you know, being honest at the time, I'm trying to portray a certain image and I was really hurt by, you know, X, Y, and Z. But I want to be able to just communicate for us to be cool because Imani is 18 